she's here. I cannot wait to open and see her for the first time if I can get it focused. God. <gasps> oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. So in the box came um, a heat pack, which is not really hot anymore. And oh my God, you guys, she's so cute. Y'all have to look at this. I was not sure how big she would end up being. Look at how small she is. Oh my gosh. She's so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay, now let's get her out and put her in her new home. So I know that it is really important to not handle them because our hands have oils and different things on our hands that can hurt them because they breathe through their skin. And so I did buy gloves and this is um, primed water. So this is exactly what I use for my beta tanks. It's just tap water that has been dechlorinated with Prime. That's the, the brand that I use. So I'm gonna mist everything down really, really well right now. And in here I made sure that I have plenty of places for her to hide. Okay, so here she is. I'm not sure if you guys can. I'm trying to make sure it's focused. Look at how small she is. Okay, so I'm just going to open the lid. She climbed all the way to the top of her cage. Um, and I just missed it, so it's kind of hard to tell. Um, and to see her clearly, but this is as good as I can get for right now. Okay, so you guys just saw me put my new tree frog in my um, in the tank. You can't see all of that, but that's what's behind me. Um, I have been preparing her tank for probably four or five weeks, and so I've just been getting everything ready and like setting it up and thinking of her and what she would need. I've been doing a lot of research on what she needs, um, and so finally everything came together, and I knew that I was at a place where I could buy her because I had everything that I needed. I felt like I knew enough information um, to buy her and to be able to take care of her. I've done research on, you know, what she's going to need to grow bigger and um, just different things to accommodate her to have a healthy life. These frogs can live for a long time and I, I hear people saying different numbers. Some people say seven years, some people say more than that. Um, and so I want you to know that if you're thinking about buying a frog like this, you need to know that this frog is going to be around. So don't buy something um, thinking that it's going to last, you know, a year or two, and that's not the case. So just be sure that you, before you buy anything, do all of your research. Um, watch people on YouTube, you know, watch someone else on YouTube. Get different opinions, get different perspectives and knowledge, and listen to what they're saying, you know, like... In this case, um, as someone that is starting out with a frog, I've never had a frog before, um, that's what I did. And so if you're at home and you're wanting to buy a frog like this, um, a white tree frog or anything else, be sure that you do a bunch of research beforehand because if not, then you're not going to be able to take care of your frog. So thank you guys for watching this video. Um, thanks for going, coming to my channel. Um, if you're not subscribed, um, 
please do that. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, you guys.